and welcome to the Warwick Christmas Lectures. Have you ever wondered if atoms are real? Here to explain is Dr. Aruni Fonseca, and she wants to explore with you the strange and curious influence that atoms have. Hi, I'm Dr. Aruni Fonseca. I'm an electron microscopist at the Department of Physics. Did you know that you, me, and everything around us is made of tiny things called atoms? Atoms are so small, you can fit one million atoms side by side in the width of a single strand of hair. Hard to imagine, isn't it? Do they really exist? Can we really see something that small? Well, for many of us, seeing is believing. And the good news is, yes, we can see atoms. Well, certainly not with our eyes or a normal microscope, but we can see them using a special microscope called an electron microscope, where electrons are used instead of light. This is a picture of an electron microscope that can show us atoms, and me standing next to it. As you can see, the machine we use to look at things the size of one millionth of a strand of hair is rather big. This is because we need a lot of special controllers and correctors to reach the precision we need to look at such small things. This is a picture of some tiny gold particles seen through this microscope. If we zoom in further and further, we start seeing these tiny white dots. These dots, in fact, are individual gold atoms. The magnification right now is 600,000 times, and the scale bar represents five billionths of a meter. In this video, they're dancing around because they're being hit by electrons coming from the electron microscope. Now, you may have noticed that our gold atoms sat in an orderly pattern. In many materials, different types of atoms like to sit in an order called a lattice, balancing out forces between them. Now here we have replicated a lattice using balloons. As you can see, there are two types of atoms, red and blue. Every red atom is connected to four blue atoms, and every blue atom is connected to two red atoms. Now when there's a disruption of this order, we call it a defect. For example, if I pop one balloon, you can see the structure slightly altered. And this type of defect is called a vacancy because it's simply creating a gap. In addition to altering the structure, you may have seen that now two red atoms are sitting close to each other. In real world, these atoms can be negatively or positively charged. And when two atoms of the same charge come close to each other, there can be a slight alteration in the electric field in the atomic scale. In the large scale, we see these things as changing how they conduct electricity or how materials interact with light. Now, if I replace the pop balloon with a bigger one, this is, imagine this is a bigger atom, you could see the atoms around it has to move around to accommodate this big atom. Since it is substituting our earlier atom, this is called a substitutional atom. And there's another way that these atoms can be cheeky and misbehave. They can try to squeeze into spaces between other atoms, like so. And this type of defects are called interstitials, because they're squeezing in between other atoms. And generally, smaller atoms tend to do this. So as you saw, atoms can be lost, misplaced, or replaced. So when this happens in the atomic scale, in the large scale, properties like how they conduct electricity, their strength, and color may change. So this is why we are interested in these lost atoms, or we want to know where atoms are. Now, defects is a word that has a very negative feel to it. And you may have already got the feeling that out of place atoms or a disruption in the pattern is a bad thing. Although it may have slightly 
altered my balloon structure, did you know that it is the carbon atoms that squeeze into the spaces between the iron atoms that make some form of steel harder? And if we replace some of the silicon atoms in this plain looking white quartz crystal with iron, it makes this beautiful purple amethyst crystal. And it is the few phosphorus or boron atoms that sits in the place of silicon that makes our computers and mobile phones work. So misbehaving atoms or defects is not entirely a bad thing. So while I go off and decorate this balloon wall with some more defects, which I think would make it beautiful, this Christmas, when you're out and about, keep an eye out for defects or disruptions in patterns and see if you think they're good or bad. <laughs>